Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Chris Dignan with your Hedge Fund Headlines. Today is Monday, September 21st, 2009. Colony Capital is raising around $500 million to invest in real estate debt. According to the Financial Times, Tom Barrick, founder of Colony Capital, is raising capital through Colony Financial, a public real estate investment trust. Barrick is also undertaking bidding for failed banks having exposure to real estate such as Chorus Bank. Colony is also looking to acquire bonds in the commercial mortgage-backed securities market. Staying with hedge fund news, four private equity firms have accepted the anti-graft code of conduct, which blocks them from using middlemen to win business from the New York State Pension Fund. According to Reuters, HM Capital Partners 1, Levine Lichtman Capital Partners, Access Capital Partners, and Falconhead Capital have signed the agreement. The firms will also return $4.5 million to the state's public pension fund. And in more news, French private equity firm PAI Partners has made an informal offer to reduce investor co commitments to its new 5.4 billion euro buyout fund by 50 percent. According to the Financial Times, the firm's Fund 5 was frozen after two of its chiefs decided to quit the firm. PAI has offered to return about 2.3 billion euros to investors in its newest fund, and the firm's fifth fund has invested about one-fifth of investors' commitments. And finally, Thames River Capital is set to launch two new credit funds. According to CityWire, the Thames River Super High Grade Fund and the Thames River High Grade Fund will be launched on October 23rd. Stephen Drew and Simon Olsikis will be managing the funds. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMI.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our hedge fund channel online and read the full stories and the latest developments. Mm -hmm.